Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckeroonies. Hello, fuckers. And uh, today I'd like to talk about... We've had a huge revamp of the Archie Luxury collection. Huge revamp. And I, I want to talk about this and uh, I want to answer the question. Does it mean, with Archie going for so many Rolex pieces... Does it mean that Rolex is better than Audemars Piguet, uh, Breguet, Vacheron, <coughs> all those super high-end brands? And the answer is no. No, it doesn't mean, it does not mean that Rolex is better. And uh, I, this is an interesting discussion topic because... Because I gotta tell you, fuckers, I gotta tell you, the reality is, those high end brands, your Holy Trinity, that's your Audemars Piguet, your Vacher and Constantine, your Patek Philippe, they are really horological pieces of art. Your brands like Breguet, Jega Le Coultre, Lange, they are also pieces of horological art. And uh, it's an interesting discussion, though. But, um, you know, the, the, the reality is those pieces are the best horological pieces. However, <coughs> it doesn't mean you can always live with these fuckers. And uh, whilst I bow my hat, tip my hat to these horological hort, hor, horology horological pieces you may not want to own just hort horology and uh, there's very good reasons for that and you know you look at my recent saga with my Audemars Piguet Royal Oak beautiful piece it's a Gerald Gentry design. It's a true classic. But it's an absolute bitch to live with. The repair from Audemars Piguet is going to set me back the price of a used Datejust. Okay? A used Sapphire Datejust. That's the sort of money it's going to set me back just for a service on it. And, uh, that's fucking, you know, that's, that's pretty, that's the, that's the price you pay for having such exclusive pieces. And this is the whole thing. They are great delights. These are horological delights, but can you fucking live with them? Can you live with them? And this is a very interesting, interesting thing. Can you live with high-end horology? It's like, you know, everyone's got their dream garage. You'd have a Rolls-Royce, you'd have a Bentley, you'd have a Porsche 911, you'd have a Ferrari, you'd have a Lamborghini, you'd have a Range Rover. You, your list just goes on and on and on. You'd have an M3, you'd have an AMG Mercedes, you'd have a uh, an SL, a sexy SL. You know, you'd have all these wonderful cars. But... <laughs> When you want to go down to the shop to pick up milk. When you want to just go somewhere. You can't really take any of those pieces. Wherever you go with that, those sort of cars, you've got to park them properly. You need a garage. There's, there, there are, a lot of these supercars are wide fucking cars, so you can't park in a norm, normal parking spot. You're scared of it getting dented, scratched, etc., etc. And... Horological pieces are the same. If they're on leather straps, the leather straps are delicate, they're expensive to replace, they're very, very, very expensive pieces to maintain. And you've got to live with the fucking things. And uh, whilst you could say it's nice to have one or two high-end hort horology pieces... Do they all need to be hort horology? And this is what you need to ask yourself. So, the honest answer is, 
with Archie's huge switch over to Rolex, does it mean Rolex is more superior? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It means Rolex is more usable, and uh, I still stand where I did before. Those pieces of horterology are the best, but they're also hard to live with. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.